Yeah, thank you. Heart attacks are increasing among young people in their 20s and 30s. Yeah, since February it is American Heart Month. One Berry Hill man is hoping his story encourages other people to take cardiovascular health seriously. News for Justina Latimer has more. It took a few minutes, but it finally settled in on me how close I was to dying and how serious this was. Zach Harris says he was out for dinner one day when he felt sharp pains in his chest. I just felt like a stabbing, burning pain. So I was like, maybe it's acid reflux for the first time in my life. This kind of sucks. But it wasn't. He says the pain stayed for a few minutes, stopped, and then continued the following day. Every time I would start to breathe, I could feel a little bit of a kind of like needle pricking on the both sides of my ribs. A feeling that pushed him to go to the emergency room. It just felt like a thousand little sharp needles was starting to stick into my lungs. After different tests, Dr. Jay Patel later found it was a serious heart attack. He didn't have the classic risk factors for somebody having a heart attack. Being so young, didn't smoke, uh, wasn't significantly overweight, or uh, didn't have diabetes or high blood pressure. He says since less than 1% of people around Zach's age typically have heart attacks, he's hoping young adults in their 30s will take heart health seriously. You know, American Heart Association, American Cardiology, uh, all recommend getting your cholesterol checked after the age of 30. Uh, and if it's normal, great, get it checked every three to five years because things can change. I would not recommend anybody wait around as long as I did for the symptoms that appeared, you know, with the pains the way they were. Reporting in Berry Hill, Justina Latimer, News 4 Nashville.